Hello everyone, FedEx Gaming here, and in this video I'll be showing how to build 10 simple secret rooms for your Minecraft world. Now I'm going to be working my way from my left hand side to the right, so I'm going to try to get through these as fast as possible so this video doesn't take up a thousand years. So the first secret room, everyone should know about this one, it's just a simple door trick by putting picture frames in front of a door. We can go ahead and walk into a secret room behind our picture frames. I'm sure I don't need to do a tutorial on this. You can also close the door so no one else can come into your secret room while you're inside of it. All it is is picture frames in front of a door next up is another very simple one that does not need a tutorial all we have to do is open up this door and as you can see there's a few chests inside of this little doorway however if we go inside our little room and then close the door as you can see we have a secret room right behind the door that will not show unless you go inside of the room and close the door I'm pretty sure we don't need a tutorial on that one either because it is a very very simple secret room next up is gonna be our first tutorial one this is another very simple secret room they're all gonna be simple so I'm just gonna say this is gonna be the third one all we have to do is come right down here, look towards the bottom right here, and click in our left trigger, and we'll be transported into our secret room. We can get outside of our minecart, and you can make this thing a lot bigger. You don't have to make them this small, but as you see, I have a few chests inside my secret room. However, when I'm ready to leave, all I have to do is get back inside the minecart, push forward, and I'll go right outside. Then all we have to do is get outside of the minecart, and then push our minecart right back in like there was nothing there. So let's go ahead and do it one more time. All we have to do is look right down here, press the left trigger, get outside of our minecart and we are now in our secret base and then once we are ready to leave get back in the minecart go right onto the outside get out of the minecart and then just push it right back in and don't worry on survival you will not take any damage because i used transparent blocks so to get things started off with this secret room, what you're going to need to do is find a wall where you want your secret room to go. And then what I want you to do is just dig out a nice little 3 by 2 area of where you're going to be putting in your stairs. Then off here to the left hand side, we're going to break out these two blocks. One, two. And then we're going to place in a powered rail here, a normal rail here, and then a normal rail right up here as well. So once this normal rail is going up into that one, what I want you to do is break this one right here. And then we're going to place a staircase right above it, upside down. Then we're going to come to the inside of our secret base or our secret room. And then we're going to place another staircase upside down facing backwards just like that. Then right above this staircase, we're going to place in another staircase right above it. And then you can go ahead and take out the blocks that match your staircase and just fill them in. And that's literally it, guys. That's the entire thing. So all we have to do is just place in our minecart right here. Come to this side and look right down here at the bottom hand side of this staircase. Press the left trigger in and we'll be transported into our secret base. And then once we are done with whatever we have to do inside our secret little room, we're going to go ahead and push our minecart out. Once you're on the outside, get out of the minecart and then just push it right back into the wall like nothing was there. For the fourth secret room, we have another door behind a painting. However, this one is always closed so no one can just simply walk right in. So to get inside of the door, all we have to do is throw an item right here at this painting like that. And as you heard, the door open up and now all we have to do is just walk right into our door like this and we will pick up the item when we walk through and the door will close right behind us so how this thing works is you throw an item into the painting it lands onto that pressure plate thus opening up the door so i'll go ahead and do it one more time all we have to do is throw our item right here at the painting so we'll go through the painting and open up our door and then all we have to do is just walk through our door we will collect the item while we walk through and it will close up right behind us so to get things started off on this tutorial what you have to do is just find a wall where you want your secret door to go we're going to break out these two blocks and we're going to place a door inside of these two blocks then to the left hand side we're going to break out this block and place a wooden pressure plate right next to the door so if i throw an item on top of this wooden pressure plate it will open up our door then on the opposite hand side, we're going to place in another wooden pressure plate down here. And then we're going to place a block right behind this wooden pressure plate so the item doesn't get thrown all the way through and it gets lost. So now when I come over here and I throw the item right here at this wooden pressure plate, it opens up a door. And then when we walk through the door, we pick up the item and walk through. So now all we have to do is just place a painting right in front of it. So let's go ahead and try to just get a two by two. Perfect. That is perfect. So if I throw an item right here at the painting, it will open up the door. Then all we have to do is walk through the painting. We will pick up our item while we walk through and then we'll be inside of our secret room. Next up, we have a secret room using a cauldron. So once I take water outside of this cauldron, a secret room will open up. So we just take water out of it. As you see, this door opened up and we can go ahead and come down here into our secret room. Now, if we want to close it behind us, all we have to do is flip down this lever and it will lock it so no one else could come in here if they know about it. And then right down here, you could put whatever you like. I just have a chest with a, well, let's see what it is. We have a Trollololo sword, which is a Sharpness 5 Aspect 2 Looting 3 sword. Man, I'm taking that. That's actually a pretty good sword. So I guess I wasn't supposed to take the sword. I should have known not to take that sword since it said troll 
and maybe because I actually built this thing. So once we are ready to leave the area, all you have to do is just flip back up your lever, walk to the outside area, and then just put water back inside of your cauldron and it will close up the door behind us. So come to any wall inside your house to put it in your secret room. We're gonna place down a cauldron and we're gonna put water right inside the cauldron. Then right next to the cauldron, we're gonna break out these two blocks and then the block behind the cauldron place down a comparator because if you did not know, as long as there's water inside of a cauldron, it will send power through this block into a comparator. Then in front of this comparator, we're gonna place down a block, put a slab upside down, and then put another block right here where we dug out this too high area, and then place redstone along all three of these blocks. Next up, what I want you to do is break out these three blocks starting from where the cauldron is, one, two, three. Then right underneath this block that has the redstone, we're gonna place in a sticky piston. It should extend out thanks to the redstone being on. And then we're gonna place a block of choice right in front of it. This is going to be your flooring block. Then we can go ahead and fill up this area, and that is literally it, guys. So now once we take the water outside of this cauldron like this, our secret door will open up. Now what we wanna do is put the lever on the inside so we can lock it from the inside. So what I want you to do is break out these blocks right here, and then we're gonna break out the block right here next to this sticky piston and place a piece of redstone dust here, and then break down two blocks here, one, two, and we're gonna place a lever off the block that has the redstone dust on top of it. Next, go ahead and place your blocks back in. So just place a block right here and two blocks right here. Now, once we dig down into our secret base area, what I like to do is at least dig down three blocks. So one, two, three, and then dig out this way, two blocks. So one, two, there's our lever, one, two. You can make it go as far down as you want to, but just make sure you dig out the little area that has your lever. So if I flip this down, it will lock the door and then flip it up and it'll open the door. And then of course, just put some ladders here to get on out. And then once you are done, you can go ahead and fill this back up with water and it will close up the secret door behind you. Our next secret room, will be using the stair trick once again. So if we come right over here, we could see right through this block, click our left trigger and we'll hit a button on the other side of this block. I'll hit my left trigger and I'll hit a button which will open up my secret room. So let's do it again, boop, hit the button and we can go ahead and walk right into our secret room. Once we are done doing what we have to do inside of our secret room, just click this button right here and walk right on to the outside. So to get things started off with this build, find a wall once again for your secret room setup. And what I should do is break out these two blocks like this and then we're gonna walk inside and then we're gonna count over two blocks to the left. So one, two, and place in four sticky pistons facing towards this little area that you dug out. Then we're gonna place in two sticky pistons facing forwards with two blocks in front of them. This is gonna be half of a jab door. Then we're gonna come to the top of these sticky pistons by going in the fly mode, or if you're on survival, just jump up here. And then we're gonna place two blocks along the backhand side of our sticky pistons and place in two pieces of redstone dust. So it should look something like this. And then we're gonna come out a block right here and place a repeater going into that redstone dust on two ticks delay. Then we're gonna come out two more blocks, one, two, placing redstone dust on top of both of them, come down a block right here and place in a redstone torch above this block with another block above it and that will close up your door. Next, we're gonna come to the outer hand side like this, break these two blocks and take out your stairs because we're gonna be doing our little stair trick here. So place in a staircase right here facing that way and then come to this side and place a staircase like this. And next up, just put a wooden button on this side of the block and a wooden button on this side of the block as well. So now if we come to the outside right here and look right through this block like this and click our left trigger in, it will open up our secret door. So now all we have to do is just clean up the area. So place blocks all inside this right here and place blocks like this so you don't have to see all of this redstone mess like that. There we go. And there you guys have a very simple secret room. So boop, hit that, we can go to the outside and then come over here, look through this block like this, hit the button on this side and it will open up your secret door. Next up, we have a pretty cool way to get into a secret room and that is a furnace password. So if I put items inside this furnace, this furnace and this one right here, it will open up our secret room. If I put items in any of the other furnaces, our secret room will not open up. So if I place in an item here, let's go ahead and put an item inside this one. We're gonna go ahead and put an item inside of this one as well. And then an item right up here on this one, it will open up our secret room. Once it's opened up, we can come down here. You can do whatever you like down here. We also have a lever which can lock it from the inside. And then once we're done, just go ahead and open it up jump on out of your secret room and then go ahead and take your items out. Now, like I said, you have to put those items in the right furnaces. If you put them in any other furnaces, it will keep the secret room locked up. So you can make this thing a lot longer too. It doesn't only have to be uh, two by three spacing. You can go all the way down a line of them if you really want to. However, once you are done, just go ahead and take your items back outside of the furnace and go on your merry little way. Now I'm only gonna be making mine a two by three spacing. Like I said, you can make it much longer if you really want to, because once you get an idea of how it works, it is very simple. So we're gonna place in a two by three spacing of furnaces. Next up, what you do is come right above it and we're gonna break down all of these blocks. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So once you have an idea of where your furnaces are, just break out all of those blocks. And then on the bottom row, we're actually gonna put in our row back like this. And then coming out of these blocks right here, we're gonna place in comparators. So one, two, three, that is going to be for the bottom row of furnaces. And then up here, we're gonna place in three comparators 
for the top row of furnaces. Now I'm going to be doing the same exact combination I did here. But like I said, once you get an idea of how this thing works, you can make your combination as long as you want and you can make it whatever you want. So mine are going to be these two right here and this top left hand corner. So how this thing works is anyone that has a torch in front of it will be your combination. So I'm going to place a block right here in front of this comparator and place a torch coming off the side of the block. Next up, I'm going to do my other two ones. So I'm going to place a block in front of here and a block in front of this comparator as well and put torches in front of all of them. Now, any one of them that are not part of your combination, you're just going to place in a block in front of the ones that are above the top area. So place in two blocks in front of these and put repeaters coming out of these blocks. So go ahead and take out repeaters and place in repeaters coming out of the blocks for the top ones. Now for the bottom ones, all you're going to do is just put a repeater coming right out of your comparator like that. So the top ones are gonna have blocks in front of the comparators before the repeaters. And then the bottom ones are only gonna have repeaters. Now how this thing works is we're gonna set up a line of blocks going this way. So the bottom torches are gonna have blocks above them. And then the top torches are gonna have blocks below them. So it's very simple, it's just reversed. So the torches on the bottom will have blocks above them. And then the torches on the tops will have blocks below them. And then what you wanna do is just put redstone dust along the entire thing. And that's how the whole entire thing works. So once we put an item inside the furnace, it will turn off these torches. So if I put an item inside of this furnace right here, as you could see, the torch went off. So if I go ahead and fill in my other two combinations, so let's go ahead and put a block in here and put an item inside of this one as well. It will turn off all our torches thus turning off our redstone. However, if we put an item inside one of the wrong furnaces, which has a repeater going into it, it will just simply send power to it, leaving the redstone dust on, which we don't want. If the redstone dust is on, our secret door will not open up. So now it's time to put in our actual secret room. So come right back over here. And we're just gonna place in two pieces of redstone dust coming down from here. So one and two, and then we're gonna dig out these three blocks. One, two, and three, and place a sticky piston coming off of the block that has the redstone dust on it and then place a block of choice in front of it and then place your walling block back in so now once i put items inside of all these furnaces so let's go ahead and just put a rail inside this one put a rail inside this one and a minecart inside of this one our secret room will open up and now what we're going to do is put in our lever so we can lock it from the inside so what we're going to do is just dig down at least three blocks one two three and then dig the block right underneath the furnace out and then dig this block out right here as well place in a piece of redstone dust right here place your block back right in here underneath the furnace and then break this block right here and place a lever underneath this block. So now if I flip the lever, as you see, the door closes and the door opens up. And of course you can go further down. You can make this go out as far as you want. It's completely up to you how big you want to make your secret room. However, once you are done, just put ladders right here so you can get to the outside. And then when you're on the outside, all you have to do is just take at least one item out of one of the furnaces and it will close up the door behind you. Next up for our secret rooms, we have another secret Jeb door. Now I've shown this in my interesting ways to use bows, but I really enjoyed it since it's so simple. I decided to add it to this list. So if we shoot an arrow right up here into this corner, it will open up a secret Jeb door. And then when we're running into our door, just jump up, grab your arrow and walk right in and it will close the door behind you. Then once you are done doing anything you have to do inside your secret room, just click this button right here. It will open it up and then walk to the outside area. So I'll do it one more time. We're going to hit into this corner with a arrow and it will open up our door. Now how this thing is working is there's a wooden pressure plate up here, which the hitbox of the arrow is hitting, thus opening up our secret door. So next, all we have to do is just run, jump, grab our arrow and walk into our secret door before it closes. So basically, we're going to be doing the same thing we did with the other Jeb door down there. We're just going to break out these two blocks right here, go to the inside and count over at least two blocks, one, two, and place in four sticky pistons with two facing forwards and two blocks in front of them next up we're going to come to the top area place two blocks above the back ones with redstone on top of it place a block right above this sticky piston with a repeater going this way on two ticks delay place two blocks behind this one one two with two pieces of redstone dust then right here where our doors open up we're going to place a pressure plate right above it then coming out of this pressure plate we're going to place a repeater going this way on four ticks delay and we're going to put three blocks going from here over to there so one two and three and actually we're gonna have to break this redstone sorry about that next up we're gonna place three pieces of redstone dust here one two three and place a redstone torch off this side and that's how the whole entire thing works so if i hit the corner of this block right here it will activate my wooden pressure plate thus opening up my door jump grab the arrow walk in and it will close up behind you now all we have to do is just clean up the area and then add in our button so clean this up clean this up up here as well so to put in our button down here what i did was just come down one extra block place a piece of redstone dust here with a wooden button. Make sure it's a wooden button, not a stone button. And now all we have to do is just clean up the area and you are completely done. So just clean up this entire area and that is the entire door. So click the button, opens up, walk onto the outside. And then when you're ready to go inside, actually let me go ahead and put a ceiling. So pretend that is your ceiling right there. 
we're gonna hit this right here with a bow it's gonna open up our secret door jump grab our arrow and walk into our secret base Next up on the list, we have a redstone torch key to get inside of our secret base. And that's actually all hooked up together. Next up on the list is a torch key secret door. So if I place in a redstone torch right here, it will open up our secret door, letting us into our secret base. And then if you want to close it behind you, just place a torch right off the side of the block once again, and it will close it up. And now you can do whatever you want down here. It's completely up to you. I did not keep adding troll little things in here. However, if you need to reopen it, if you did close it, when you came down here, you're going to have to break this torch right here. It will reopen it up and then just place your torch back in and then come right outside. And then once you are on the outside, just place your torch back off the side of the block and it will close it up behind you. So place the torch, it opens up, place the torch, it closes. So to get things started off with this one, what I want you to do is break out these two blocks and then we're gonna break out three blocks right here. So one, two, and three. And then off this back one, we're gonna place in a sticky piston. Then we're gonna break down one more block in front of our sticky piston and place a redstone torch coming off this block right here. Next up, place your block of choice, which is gonna be a flooring block on top of that torch in front of your sticky piston. Then right here, we're gonna break out these two blocks and then break down one block right here and break out one block right next to the sticky piston. Next up, place a piece of redstone dust here and then a repeater coming out of this redstone dust on two ticks delay. Make sure it's on two ticks delay. Then in front of this repeater, place in a piece of redstone dust here and then a block right next to the redstone dust and that is the entire thing. So if I place a torch right here, it closes, place the torch, opens up, closes, opens up, and that is the entire thing, guys. So all we have to do is fill this up, and now all we have to do is just dig down at least three, so one, two, and three. I usually like digging down four, though, so I don't hit my head on the ceiling, and now this is completely up to you. You can do whatever you like down here. However, once you're done, just place in your ladders to get onto the outside. Normally, you have to do it off the side with this one due to the redstone torch being there. So once everything is done and you're ready to leave your base, just place your redstone torch, and it will close it up behind you. And last but not least, we have our last secret room now this is the only secret room that i feel like you guys have maybe never seen before just because it's so weird so you're going to need a fishing pole for this and also it does not work on creative this only works on survival which is kind of weird but this only works on survival so once you have a fishing pole out all we have to do is come up to this wall right here and then throw our fishing line at this wall right here as you can see it phased through the floor and now all we have to do is come right over here come one block away from our fishing line right here and then pull it back and as you heard our secret door opened up and we can go ahead and walk inside now that's why i said this thing is pretty weird and you might have never seen it however if we want to close it up behind us what we do is flip down this lever and our secret room will close up you can do whatever you like in here however when you're ready to leave flip up the lever opens up the secret room then come right here and throw in your line back into this mine cart because that's how this whole entire thing is working we are yanking a mine cart with a fishing line so then we come out here pull our fishing rod back in and it will close up the door behind us so i'll do it one more time Throw your fishing line right down here. It'll go inside the minecart. Then come over here to this side. Come at least one block away. And then yank it back. And it will open up our secret door. And then once we are done doing anything inside here, just throw your fishing line back out here. Make sure it goes inside the minecart. Come back outside and yank your minecart back over. All right, guys, so even though this build is very weird, it is very simple to build. So once you have found your wall where you wanna put this secret little room in, all you have to do is break out these two blocks. And then we're gonna break out three blocks right here. So one, two, and three. Then right off the front two, we're gonna place in two regular rails. And then off that last one, we're gonna place in a detector rail. Next up, we're gonna break these two blocks out and we're gonna do the same thing we did with all the other Jeb doors. We're gonna walk in and count over two blocks from here. So one, two, and place in four sticky pistons facing towards us, two facing towards the front, and then place two blocks in front of those two sticky pistons. Then we're gonna come to the top area, place in two blocks right here and one here, place two redstone off the backhand side and a repeater going into them on two ticks delay. Then next up, we're gonna come out two more blocks from here. One, two, like that. And then place in two more redstone dust. One, two. Then we're gonna come right down here to where our detector rail is. And we're gonna break down two blocks. One, two, and then put a torch off the side of the block that the detector rail is on. So place in a torch here. Place a block above the torch. A torch above the block. A block above the torch. And then another torch above the block. And then put a block above this one and it should close up the door behind us. Next up, what I want you to do is place in your minecart back here. And then we're going to put two blocks right here to hide our minecart. And we're going to hide this area right here as well. Then what I like to do is I like to take out some fence posts here so no one falls into this area. So just place in two more blocks here and then place in your two fence posts so no one falls in here and accidentally pushes that minecart back over. 
Next up, take out a lever and place it on the block above your fence post. And now what we have to do is just clean up the area and you'll be completely done. So place in blocks right here like that. Place in some blocks right here so we don't have to see any of these pistons. Actually leave that area open right here. So it should look something like this when it is completely filled in and looks nice and seamless. So that is it, guys. That is the entire thing. So now I'm going to have to switch it over to survival real quickly because this does not work on creative. So switch it to survival. Take out your fishing rod. And now all we have to do is just throw it at the block where we put our minecart. So, boop, throw it there. As you see, it will phase through the block. That's how you know you did it right. Then we're going to come one block away, at least one block away. Yank our fishing line back, and it should open up our door. Then once we're inside, we can go ahead and close up behind us so no one can get inside of it. However, when we're ready to leave, just throw our fishing line right back into here. Oop, I missed. Like that. There we go. Make sure it's inside of the minecart. Come back to this side and yank your minecart this way, and it will close your secret door behind you. So there you guys have it. That is how you build 10 simple secret rooms. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave it a like and subscribe. Stay tuned for my newest videos. All right, guys. Peace.